first night shift at the motel. I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Hi, I'm Emma. I guess I'm the new night shift worker. Welcome, Emma. I'm Anderson. Don't worry. You'll get the hang of it. So here's the rundown. You'll mostly be checking in late arrivals and dealing with the usual guest requests. Keep the front door locked after midnight. We get some odd folks wandering in from the highway. If the phone rings, answer it. But don't be surprised if it's just a prank call. Is that it all? Seems easy. You'll also need to keep the rooms clean, do laundry, and repair any appliances that might go on the fritz. The consumables in the rooms, towels, soaps, that kind of stuff, need to be refilled, too. Got it. Sounds manageable, I think. Anything else I should know? Well, this place has its quirks. Room three, for example. Sometimes guests report strange noises, but there's never anyone there. Seems all clear. All right, I'm out of here. You'll be fine, Emma. Just stay calm and call me if you need anything. Good luck. All right, Emma. This is it. Just a quiet night, nothing you can't handle. But why does this place feel so... off? Let's see what's happening around the motel. Cameras look clear for now. Just a quiet night, right? There it is, my first guest. Good evening, Just sir. smile, good evening, be professional, young lady. and make I'd a like good a impression. You've got this. Cool. I used to work nights too back in the day. Thanks for the advice. It's my first night. Be careful, though. The nights can be unpredictable. I'll keep that in mind. Good girl. Now get me a room with a view of the parking lot. Room one is available. Could you please wait a few minutes to make sure that everything is ready for you, sir? Sure thing. Take your time. I will. Room's all set. Not too bad for my first time. Oh my god, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, my dear. I didn't mean to frighten you. You were taking a while, and I just wanted to check on you, make sure everything was all right. It's fine. I just wasn't expecting you to be here so soon. The room's all set now. Okay, well, the room is ready for you. I'll leave the key on the table here. Good night. Thanks. Good night to you, too. That gave me a scare. I have to stay sharp tonight. I need to calm down. A cup of coffee should help me shake this off.
Good evening, History Route 68 Motel. How can I help you? Do you know what happens to girls who work alone at night? Is this supposed to be a joke? Because I've heard better. Oh, but I'm just getting started. Aren't you scared? Alone in that empty motel? Who knows what could happen? You know, I've got better things to do than listen to some wannabe horror movie villain. Hang up if you want, but I'll be seeing you real soon, Emma. How do you know my name? You gave it to me when you answered the phone. Aren't you supposed to introduce yourself? Listen, if this is your idea of fun, you're wasting both of our time. I'm hanging up now. All right, all right. I'll let you get back to your night. For now. But remember, the night is long, and who knows what could happen. Good night. Seriously. A prank call? It's the last thing I need tonight. But anyway, yeah, that's on the back. Who is it this time? If this Oh, I'm sorry to bother you, dear. It's me, the old man from room 1. I didn't mean to upset you. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I just had a strange call earlier. What can I do for you? Well, I didn't want to trouble you, but I've been hearing some odd noises coming from room three, and just now, I noticed some strange flickering lights there. It's probably nothing, but I thought you should know. Thank you for letting me know. I'll go check it out right away. Please don't worry, I'll handle it. What a lucky night. Emma, is everything all right out there? Sorry about that, sir. The power's out. I was trying to fix a flickering bulb in room three and it caused a short. I'm heading to the basement to get the electricity back on. That's a nasty bit of luck. Are you sure you'll be all right down there alone? The basement can be a bit unsettling at night. I'll be fine. I just need to flip the breaker and everything should... All right, but be careful, Emma. The Thanks, I appreciate it. Okay, I will save... The basement is the last place I want to be right now. Front desk. Having some trouble keeping the lights on, Emma. 
You again? What do you want this time? Just checking in. You know, it's dangerous playing around with electricity. One wrong move and poof, no more Emma. Listen, I don't know who you are, but these calls aren't funny. I've got work to do. What's next? A little trip to the fuse box in the base? You really need to find a better hobby. Stop wasting my time. Oh, but it's so much fun watching you. Can't wait to see what happens next. Good night, Emma. Don't call here again. Again with the pranks? This is starting to get on my nerves. But who even knows about the power outage? Seeing things. Hey, it's Emma! My mind shift's over tricks. for you. I'm back early. Figured I'd check in a little sooner. How was your first night? Honestly, a lot creepier than I expected. There were strange noises, prank calls, and... Oh, the power went out. I had to go to the basement to fix it. Welcome to the night shift. It can be a bit unsettling your first time around, but you get used to it. Did everything go all right with the power? Yeah, but I thought I saw a shadow down there. At first, I freaked out thinking it was a stranger. Yep, that was me. I came in early, saw the lights flicker, and figured I'd head down to check on things. Guess I spooked you a bit. A bit? I thought I was going crazy down there. You should have said something. Didn't want to interrupt the hero moment. But hey, you handled it like a pro. Yeah, well next time maybe don't be the mysterious shadow figure, okay? Deal. Anyway, your shift's over. Go ahead and wait for your bus. I'll take over from here. This was just my first night, and it already feels like I'm in a bad horror movie. Anderson wasn't kidding about the weirdness. I just hope tomorrow isn't as bad. being followed. Seems it's only my imaginations. Someone there?
better to check other rooms first. Oh, it is just a rat. Now I can breathe. I thought someone is in my apartment. <laughs> 